Holly. Hey. Oh, I'm so weary. <laughs> Just working an extra shift so my son doesn't wake up to an empty stocking. Nice try. I work in a bar, too. I know all the angles. One time I was pregnant for 14 months. Teach me your way. Listen, if you want to rake in the big bucks, don't ask for a toy. Tell him your kid needs asthma medicine. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. My son actually does need asthma medicine. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize you. There you go. Gotcha. Listen, I have some bad news. I can't make it to your party tomorrow. Oh, no. Are you sure? Yeah. I, I work till 11. Nobody wants to take my shift. Damn. I was hoping you would enjoy some of the Crane family Christmas traditions. Mm. A noble fur, bush de Noel. Mm, it's fancy. Yeah. My family traditions were eggnog pong, and we flipped a coin to see who had to go bail out Uncle Polly. Oh. Where's Alan? Uh, Strapping antlers to a dog so he can steal Christmas? You know what? I... You might want to go easy on Alan. Why? You didn't go easy on Whoville. <laughs> it's his daughter. 20 years ago, Alan moved here to chase his dream of a professorship at Harvard. He worked his fingers to the bone. Wait, we're talking about Alan, right? Yes, well, he was a different man back then. Industrious, ambitious, tan. <laughs> but... He neglected things at home, and, uh, you know, everything sort of fell apart. He's made amends with the rest of his children, but his oldest is Nora, and she won't speak to him. She's in town, apparently, and now she won't let him see his only grandchild. Oh, my gosh, that's so sad. It's tragic, yeah. but not our place to meddle. Hmm. Of course not. Best just to mind our own business. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, now that's out of the way. What are you plotting? All right, crew, we got one shot to pull off this Christmas caper. <laughs> As luck would have it, Nora is staying at Holly's hotel. We know this because of a cute little mole we have on the inside. Aw, your first nickname for me. <laughs> I don't love it. Well, all right. <laughs> Phase one, the stakeout. Team Gold, that's Olivia and I, we will wait in the hotel lobby for Nora to arrive. Freddie, you and Holly will be... Let me guess, Team Silver. No, frankincense. <laughs> We're naming our teams after the gifts of the Magi. Come on, Freddy, I need your shark. You and Holly will lure Alan here to the hotel bar. Should things go well at the stakeout, I will bring the target to meet her father there. What can I do? I'm very limber. I can easily fold myself into a bar cart. You, Eve, and Roz are team Murr. You will go to my apartment this evening and begin construction of a gingerbread village. If things go well at the stakeout... Please stop saying stakeout. Nora will join us for dinner tomorrow, and the sight of this beloved Christmas memory will warm her heart. Stakeout, stakeout, stakeout. Uncle, I won't let you down. I should hope not. You have by far the easiest job. Everyone, let's get to work. Oh! Oh, no, your dad left his bag. To Olivia. I have to sneak a peek. Slippers? <laughs> this is the great gift he was talking about? Isn't it the thought that counts? No. <laughs> He's rich. 